Scary Ghost Videos. Before we begin today's episode of Top 5 Scary Ghost Videos, I'd just like to remind you that if you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe to help support the channel. Behind You The first ghost video in today's episode of 5 Scary Ghost Videos is a video I found over on TikTok. The video you're about to see was captured on a ring doorbell camera and uploaded to the TikTok account Consta Monster. The video shows Connor, the Consta Monster, returning home late at night when someone or something can be seen following him. As Connor walks towards his front door, a shadow can be seen behind him. Connor senses it and turns around, but the shadow is no longer there. He continues walking on, but then the shadow can be seen again, mysteriously walking in the distance behind him. Then, as Connor reaches his door, the shadow appears again, very briefly, before vanishing like it was never there. Again, Connor senses it, but when he turns around, no one's there. TikTok viewers have been left divided on this video, with some even claiming to say that they can't see the shadow no matter matter how hard they look. But what do you think? Did Connor capture something paranormal on his ring doorbell camera? Or is it all just for views? You tell me. Who was that? This next creepy clip was uploaded by Christine Wright to her TikTok account, CVS Paranormal 1. The video clip is short and shows Christine exploring an old ancient graveyard alone, or so she initially thought. Um, completely out of the way, so nobody... Hello. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. What? Hello? Hmm. Sure, I saw somebody shouted hello then, or said hello. As Christine is exploring the old graveyard, a noise startles her. Then immediately after, a voice can be clearly heard saying hello. Christine swears that she was alone in this graveyard and that the reason she jumped before hearing the voice was because she heard a noise behind her, almost as if she felt their presence prior to hearing them. But what do you think? Did Christine capture the voice of a spirit who resides in this graveyard? You tell me. The Shadow the next ghost video comes from the ghost hunting and paranormal investigation channel, The Journey is the Destination. Jay returns to an old abandoned and supposedly haunted farmhouse known as Susan's Farmhouse, where he partakes in a lights out challenge. Jay conducts a paranormal investigation late at night, armed only with a night vision camera, and captures this on camera. We've caught some crazy EVPs here, some crazy amount of orbs, that were following me up and down this hallway as well as cat balls going off. There does seem to be someone I think named Earl. The cat ball was going off here last time I was here. And the uh, first K2 readings I got were right here. I believe he hangs out in this hallway and walks back and forth, maybe into this room. Oh man, I am so creeped out in this house right now. This is probably the most creeped out I've ever been in this house. I literally just heard like, I don't know if that was two knocks or three knocks. There they are again. Hello? I don't know if, I hope this camera picked that up. I swear I just heard a series of knocks out there on that porch. That porch, there's something out there for sure. Eagle Eye caught some shadows and person walking around out there on the static cam, I think. Let's go walk around out here and see if there's anything walking around that maybe made those noises because I don't think there is.
Yeah, it's ice cold out here again. Freezing back here now. Almost sound like I got pulled back open when I closed it. That was weird. Oh man. Earl? Jay investigates the haunted farmhouse where he captures some very strange EVPs including a voice which can clearly be heard saying go. Jay calls out the name Earl who is apparently the deceased owner of the building however as he's entering one of the back rooms of the house a black shadow can be seen moving quickly in the reflection of a mirror. It's quite hard to see but if we zoom in and slow the video down something dark is definitely there. At the time this shadow was caught Jay was completely alone in the house and it was only when he reviewed his footage back did he realize what he had caught but what do you think did jay capture something paranormal inside this old haunted farmhouse you tell me in the window the next creepy clip was recorded on Snapchat and published to Reddit over seven years ago. The Reddit post is titled Strange Sighting at an Abandoned House and the original poster claims that it was recorded by someone they knew who visited a well-known haunted house located in the middle of the woods. seen creepily moving in an upstairs window but who or what is it reddit users were divided at the time this post went viral with many claiming it to be a squatter and some claim it to be a quote ghost the original poster's friends even came to twitter to back up his claims by stating that they themselves had been to this house and that the room where whatever this is was seen has a very clear change in temperature and that they themselves have witnessed horrifying things in and around this abandoned haunted house so what do you think this strange thing could be. Is it a ghost as many reddit viewers claim? You tell me. Paranormal activity. Number one in today's episode of five scary ghost videos comes from the ghost hunting and paranormal investigation channel Midwest Ghost Hunter. Ian ventures out to explore an old abandoned and supposedly haunted asylum known as the San Haven Sanatorium. The old mental asylum which is located in North Dakota USA has been left abandoned for decades and is said to harbour extreme paranormal activity. For the first part of the video Ian explores the haunted asylum hoping to capture anything paranormal and a short while into his investigation captures this on camera there it is san haven sanatorium well here it is san haven sanatorium this is not the first time i've been here i've been here a few times and i tell you it never gets any less intimidating. Just imagine falling from a height like that. And I'm terrified of heights, so that's, that thought scares me. In 2001, a teenager who was exploring the ruins of the sanatorium tragically fell down one of the elevator shafts. It is speculated that his spirit may be among the many who haunt San Haven. Alright, I'm out here in front of San Haven. I'm just moments away from walking in. Hello? Is there anybody here with me? Could you make a sound for me? Alright, 
So right behind me is the doorway to the elevator shaft that that teenager fell down and died. I'm going to see if I can make contact with him. I'm using a K2 meter. Is your name CJ? I saw when this when this was barricaded, somebody spray painted CJ RIP. CJ, could you move by this green light that I have here? It's spiking. CJ, is that you? If that was you, could you do that again? Oh, wow. That is amazing. Thank you, CJ. Did you fall down this elevator? Wow, I'm so sorry. What happened? Did you trip? Was it accidental? Were you pushed? Ooh, it just spiked. You were pushed? By what? A person? An entity? Oh my god. That is terrifying. I'm at the bottom of this elevator, but I'm going to step away from it a little bit. I'm blind to myself. Holy crap. That was some hella some spikes I got. It communicated and it, the answer is it said an entity pushed him. Some people speculate he might have been pushed by something haunting here. That is really scary, especially me being here by myself. I am not going anywhere near those elevator shafts. Is there anybody here? Are there any former patients here? Okay. That was a f***ing scary ass noise. Are there any entities down here? What in the f***? Heard like a freaking breath.
Oh dear God. There they are. The f body fridges or I keep hearing you, but I don't see you. That's fucking freaky. That is really fucking freaky. Holy fucking sh. Dude, that fucking door is open.
arms are tingling. What the fuck? Why did I feel right down here? Ian is exploring the old asylum. He comes across an elevator where supposedly a young boy suffered a tragic accident. He calls out the boy's name, CJ, and his K2 meter begins to spike. He discovers that CJ's tragedy was no accident, but he was in fact pushed down the elevator shaft by a quote, entity, which freaks Ian out. Then, as Ian is calling out in a corridor inside the haunted asylum, he hears knocks and bangs coming from somewhere in darkness. Then, as Ian is all alone down in the basement, he comes across a set of body fridges, which at first are closed. However, when Ian returns, the fridge doors are wide open and Ian begins to panic. Then a loud bang is heard and Ian flees the basement area in absolute fear. However, a little while later, Ian builds up the courage to press on, keen to explore the old asylum. He ventures into the asylum's tunnels, where he hears horrifying noises coming from somewhere in the shadows. Ian proceeds with caution, scared out of his mind. Then all of a sudden, a shadow can be seen quickly passing right by him and Ian gets the hell out of there. So did Ian capture paranormal activity inside the haunted San Haven sanatorium or is it all just for views? You tell me. Thanks so much for watching. I've noticed a large number of my viewers aren't subscribed yet. So this is just another friendly reminder that if you enjoyed this video to please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you'll never miss another video. And if you want to watch more scary videos just like this one, you can click any of these scary videos shown on the screen. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at MindJunkieTV and on TikTok where I should be posting again real soon at MindJunkie. See you next week.